Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here, and today I've got a quick video showing you how to get Martin Udegaard into your Football Manager 2015 saves, and also how to get his face into the game like you can see here. So here we have Udegaard, uh, you can see all his attributes here. Uh, right now he's available on the Steam Workshop, I'll have a link to that down below. In a second I'm going to go through the steps to download him, however in future FM updates you can expect him to be part of the main database, so you won't actually need to download this add-on should you be some way in the future, perhaps after January watching this video. However, I am still going to cover how to get his face into the game. So anyway, I'm now going to quit this to the start screen and uh, we are going to go into Steam because that is how this download begins. Now I should point out immediately here we are going to be using the Steam Workshop if you've illegally downloaded your Football Manager. You can't do this, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go to the Steam Workshop. So we go to Browse Workshop here. We go to Football Manager and you can see the second highest item right now is the Udegaard Player Profile. So we click on him here and uh, this is the Udegaard item. It's a downloadable file. It's 0.016 megabytes, meaning it's a very small file. And um, the way to download it is fairly simple. So uh, when you come to this page, you'll see it has, says a big green button here that says subscribe. Now, there's two ways of doing this. I'm going to show you both ways because sometimes this way of downloading it doesn't work for people. And sometimes the other way doesn't work. So the way I do it is I'll hit subscribe. And you'll see the item has been subscribed. It's been added to your subscription. Some games will require you to relaunch before they can be downloaded. That is very important that you may need to restart your FM. That's the first mistake people make. So that's one way of doing things. Now I've already got him downloaded so it's not too big a deal. The other way you can do it is you can go to your downloads here and then you open up your FM, you go to the Steam Workshop tab and then you go to uh, download official add-ons directly from Steam. And this has all the SI Games add-ons. I actually recommend if you're having issues doing it through the Steam client, you do it this way in-game. So in this little in-game overlay, you can see here there's the Udegaard download. You just click here in the same way as before, you hit the subscribe button. And again, it'll tell you you may need to restart. As I mentioned, it's a very small file, so it is very, very quick to download. Because I've already got it installed, um, that isn't an issue for me. But anyway, once you've done that, you're going to see on this installed add-ons tab, it'll have a list of everything you're subscribed to. And you can see here the Udegaard player profile I am subscribed to. And it's been published by the users SI Games, of course, that being the official Sports Interactive uh, Steam. So anyway, once we've done that, the next thing to do is go to New Career, Football Manager... And then you'll see here, Editor Data Files, and then it says two out of three are enabled. These are different databases. The Udegaard database just includes Udegaard. To ensure that this is in your game, make sure you hit the Edit button. And then from here, it'll show a list of all the downloadable databases you have installed in your Football Manager. So this can take a few minutes depending on how many databases you have. But you can see here, the Martin Udegaard Player Profile a file is here it has 85 changes that of course is the Udegaard player himself so once you've got that you're going to hit confirm ensuring that is selected and then upon doing that this database is now active in this new game that you now resultingly set up uh, I've already set up a game so I'm not going to go into too much detail about that uh, but this downloadable will only affect new saves you start having downloaded him and having ensured he's active as I've just shown you there so there's two simple steps for doing it. There's the Udegaard way in the Steam Workshop, in the Steam Client, which is here. Uh, and there's also the way of doing it in-game. As I mentioned, the way of doing it in-game is more consistent, and I recommend you do it that way. But if you have issues with one, you can always do it the other. So anyway, now you've done that, you're probably wanting to get his face into the game because it's kind of a nice addition to have Udegaard's face. So down in the description of this video, there is a second link, and it's my download link. This is a file I've put together, and it includes Udegaard's face. Now, it's a zip file, and it will be called Udegaard Face Pack. You can see it here. Uh, if you've not got some kind of unzipping software, just download something like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Uh, most Windows uh, operating systems tend to have that by default anyway now. And within this zip file that you download, there will be two files. There will be Udegaard's face, with a very long number, this being his unique ID. And there'll be a config file. Now these two files you don't need to worry about. All you need to ensure is that this folder called Udegaard that you extract goes in your Sports Interactive Football Manager 2015 and Graphics folder. So if you go to your documents, if you're on Windows, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2015, Graphics. And then just make sure the folder is there. And then you can delete the zip file once you've done it. Check to make sure that there is both the config and the image itself. It's important that they're both there. 
as soon as you've got that all you've got to do is go into your preferences go to the interface tab and then you want to make sure that you have both clearing the cache and using cache enabled on and also that you tick the box that says reload skin when confirming changes in preferences when you click this you'll see you now can hit confirm i'm not going to do this because it takes a long time to reload your skin if you've got a face pack logo pack stuff like that installed just make sure you're very patient about it but once you've clicked that make sure that box is enabled make sure you've cleared your cache just by clicking it and you hit confirm uh, the game will work its magic and then, as if by magic, uh, Udegaard's face should be in the game if you followed the steps correctly. And as you can see here, he's in our game. This is a database save game that I set up earlier that I've just loaded that includes the player himself and him in the game with his face pack. Hopefully this video helped you guys. A real simple guide. Hopefully I've broken it down for the people struggling to download it on the Steam Workshop. Hopefully you enjoy the face pack as well. It did take a little bit of fiddling, although it is fairly simple to do, really. I did a tutorial on it on Football Manager 2014. It might be something I do in the future, so when you create your own players in the editor, you know how to add them a face. Anyway, guys, hopefully this video helped. If it did, if you could smash the like button, it really helps me out. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. In the coming days, I'm going to have an Udegaard in the future save thing for you guys, where I'm going to holiday 20 years into the future, and then through various episodes, I'm going to have a look at Martin Udegaard's career and how it panned out in Football Manager. Hopefully you're looking forward to that, and I will see you guys in the next video.